Hey guys, welcome to my channel Linux King. My name is Salman Francis and as promised I'm back with some more videos and this time it's going to be Apache Virtual Hosting and it's going to be name-based virtual hosting basically and what is name-based virtual hosting? So let's say if you have a couple of domains, let's say itpings.com, itpings.net or itpings.info and what you want to do is you want to host different websites on these domains and the first the thing what will come into your mind is that you might need to purchase different servers for all of these different domains and you have to host uh, then you will be able to host different websites so but with name based virtual hosting we can do this uh, setup in a single web server in a single machine and there are a couple of more uh, hostings as well such as IP based hosting and there is port based hosting and these hostings are let's say if you have more IP addresses uh, two three IP addresses and you want different uh, websites in the same server you can do that as well but our focus today is on the name based virtual hosting which is very good but very easy to set up so let me take you uh, the steps how you can configure name based virtual hosting by yourself so let's start uh, as always, we are using uh, CentOS 8, you can see that. And I have already set up virtual hosting, but I will be doing it uh, for you uh, step by step also. So first thing is we need to go to our um, HTML directory, like our main document root. And here we are going to create our two directories. Let's call them itpings.com and itpings.net okay you will create two simple directories and then what you need to do is in these directories let's say you will uh, have your content for example over here sorry about that so for example over here I have a simple index HTML file and the, to call and we if we cat the content we'll see that it says this is itpings.com okay and in a second directory, let's say I have my two domains at pings.com and at pings.net and they have their directories with the name of their domains, respective, respective domains. And in this at pings.net, I have another index.html file and if we cat the content, we will see it says this is at pings.net. So here for com, it says at pings.com and over here it says at pings.net. Okay, that's the simple website. Now what we need to do is, let me take you to our main configuration file of Apache. Okay, and over here, if you go to the very bottom of this file, okay, and Here. So at the very bottom, you can see it says include optional conf.d asterisk.conf. And asterisk.conf means anything which starts with anything but ends with conf is included. And the directory is conf.d. So what we can do is we can go to conf.d and create any file and ends. This file should, the extension should add, end with conf and that conf will be included in this like uh, it will be read by the main directory so this is uh, what it means so we have two options we can define virtual host in the main directory as well in this main configuration file or we can include it into conf.d directory with the extension.conf so let's it's more uh, like it's a good practice if we go to conf.d and create a separate uh, file for virtual host rather than to create virtual host in the main uh, configuration file. So let's go to conf.d etc httpd conf.d okay over here we can create our own files for example uh, it pings dot com uh, dot let's say underscore com dot conf and since it's ending with .conf, it will be read by the main directory, uh, main configuration file, sorry. So, 
I have already already created this. Okay, so we are in this file and you can see that it starts with the tag of virtual host and then the asterisk colon 80. It means anything with the port 80 and if the server name is at pings.com, take it to var wwhtml at pings.com. So this is the directory which we created in this, if you remember, in our var wwhtml. And this is the very simple tag of virtual host. And here we can, we will just close this virtual tag, you know, virtual host tag with the forward slash. Okay. And then we are going to create another directory with the name of it pings underscore net. You can call it anything, but it should end with dot conf. And over here, it's like virtual host colon uh, like a asterisk colon 80 so anything which is going to port 80 and if the server name is it pings.net the document root will be slash var wwwhtml at pings.net okay that's so simple okay now what we need to do is quit this is all trust me this is all the virtual hosts are created however because I'm testing it on my local machine, what I need to do is two things. Number one is I need to go to etc hosts and over here I need to mention like um, same IP address and it's going to www.itpings.com or itpings.com and then same like same IP address and it's itpings.net and itpings.net like www.itpings.net and itpings.net. Okay, and if I ping here, like ping, it pings dot com, it will work, as well as it pings dot com without www will also work, and same like with dot net. Okay, and with www dot net. Okay, perfect. Now one more thing I need to mention is since this is the virtual machine okay this is the virtual machine and if i want to test from my uh, host machine okay like this is the guest and this is the host so over here i have this uh, virtual machine installed so because my browser is not in the virtual machine it's in my main machine so what i need to do is i need to go to uh, over here this is, you can see that this is Red Dragon. So this is my main machine over here. And this is only Dragon and this is the virtual machine. Okay. I should name it Black Dragon instead of uh, Red Dragon anyway. So what we need to do is we need to go to the hosts here as well and need to do the same. Okay. Same thing. So at least it will be able to understand that if anything goes to 1.145 it should go to itpings.com okay one important thing let's say if it's not working by with your browser what you need to do is i'll show you in a minute but let's ping first so i need to make sure that it's pinging yes perfect it's pinging and for .net perfect and yep it's working okay perfect so what you need to do is, let's say if it's not working and it's giving you some DNS error, what you need to do is just go to vimetcnsswitch.conf and make sure that the host uh, colon reads files first. So if DNS is first, then it's going to read DNS, not your host file, okay? So this is one way to troubleshoot if it's not working. Okay, so now let's go to our browser and check if it's working. So if you type it pings.net, it will take you to it pings.net. And if it takes, if you type it pings.com, it will take to, it will take you to it pings.com. Perfect. So our virtual host is working perfectly fine. Again, .net will take you to .net and .com will take you to .com. Perfect. So thank you very much for watching. This is the very simple tutorial for how to set up virtual host in Apache. So thank you very much. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. It's youtube.com forward slash Linux King, facebook.com forward slash Linux King 77. 
Stay blessed. Goodbye.